Hello, and welcome to the next tutorial. Today, we'll be making this or these big red boots. It's fairly basic, but my students really wanted it, so here you go. It's pretty basic. And shout out to Mr. Ortiz for being the first student in my class to design his own. Let's get started. <clears throat> We're gonna start off with a cylinder. We're gonna maximize the sides by dragging this over. And the height, uh, it's gonna be your choice. I've made this 50. Clicked on 50. And then I'm gonna add the torus, which is that one right there. Again, maximize the sides. And you just want this to be sticking out a little bit at the very top, just to create a little bit of a ridge. I'm gonna hit and hold the shift button just to make it a little bit bigger. There it is, it went up by <clears throat> one millimeter, I believe. Now I selected both of them. I'm gonna click the letter L and align these two in just this area and now up here. Great. Now, is this aligned all the way? No, this, I need to move this a little bit up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the snap grid to off. Then I'm gonna hit the control and up arrow on my keyboard to move it up. And that's about right. Now, if you don't, like the way it looks, feel free to change the <clears throat> outer dimensions to whatever size you would like. And next, let's get the bottom part of the boot, which is gonna be, what shape is this? What do they call this, a half sphere? Yep, half sphere. All right, let's check out the dimensions. They're gonna be, let's call this 46 on this side, 46. And the height, 18.4, let's just say 18.5. 18.5 and 30 for the width, how wide it is across. Now, personally, I am not liking this color combination. Let's make them all red if we can. Can we do that? Looks like we can. And I'm gonna select all of them to align. I'm gonna click the letter L. You could click up here and here. Now the second to the, oh, we're missing something. Let's move this back. Now, I don't want this to be aligned to the very back. All I'm gonna do is click here to move it back but I want this a little bit further back. Oh, I didn't align these two. So I'm gonna click the letter L, get those two aligned. I'm gonna click on the cylinder before I do that. That way the cylinder doesn't move. And there it is, okay. Now these two right here, I'm just gonna group Control G or that button right there. I don't want it to be at the very end. I want it to be further actually. So I'm gonna hit shift and the back arrow key to move it that way, or you can just drag it across. However, if you do drag, drag it across, hit the shift button because it does this. It only moves it along one plane. So it makes it a lot easier to not mess up the alignment. All right, I'm gonna move this forward. Now at any time, if you don't like the way it looks, maybe you think that maybe this isn't big enough or that one is. In fact, I think this one needs to be bigger. Let's go ahead and change that to 30 by 30 that one you can change the dimensions it's totally up to you and again i'm going to hit the align tool because it went out of alignment l and of course the back and it didn't do it l and i think i missed it there you go i want this to be i'm going to click away and i'm going to move it back now i'm going to hit shift and the back arrow oh everything was selected shift and back arrow it moves it back fairly quickly and I like the way that looks much better. Again, you can adjust it however you like. Now step number five is to subscribe to my videos. Don't forget to do that because it really helps me to feel better about my life in general. So I'm gonna click here, drag this up. Here is the issue. Everybody's finger width, because I'm assuming that uh, we're not all the same person, is gonna be a little bit different. So you, have to decide the width. Now, hold on, let me, let me maximize the sides here. Now, I'm a full grown adult. Some say I'm a little bigger than most adults. So I chose 20 millimeters for this one. And it was a little bit loose on my fingers. So maybe you should try it somewhere 12, 13, if you're you know a child. I don't know, play with it and see which one would be best for your fingers because they're shoes. They have to look good, don't they? All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy your shoemaking. You're now a shoemaker. Congratulations. Have a good day. <music>